In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get a little more precision out of your collisions with other objects using uh, collisions instead of triggers. Now, keep in mind, if you use a collision, it's going to take or it's going to have a little more overhead because the collision has to process all the hit points, uh, whereas a trigger um, it just fires whenever the uh, envelopes of the uh, colliders overlap. So right now we have a trigger on our sword when he attacks and we just have a trigger collider on the on the target so when we attack it it makes a hit and it gets a hit point. Now you see the hit point is somewhere down here which doesn't look too accurate because what it's doing let's see it better in scene view it's actually getting the closest point on this envelope to the bone of the weapon which is actually down here the position of the bone where its pivot point is so it's trying to find the closest point it's picking around here to get that point not up here where the weapons actually hitting so you can see the sparks are a little bit off right there so what we can do <coughs> we can go into our animation to the attack animation the weapon and where we turn on the collider we can take off this is trigger and this will make it a collision event when it hits the target. Now the other thing we have to do on the target is we'll need to add a rigid body. And since this is a collision event and when you hit this object it's going to start moving. Actually let's just show that real quick. Because we don't actually want that. So let's take off, use gravity. You can see it'll, it'll still move when I hit it, which is not good. Target waves like nothing. So let's go ahead and freeze the position and the rotation. Okay, now it doesn't move. But notice also we're not getting any events when we hit the target. That's because in the code, we need to go in and add a or register a collision. Right now we just have our collider registered, but we're not colliding anymore with triggers. So we need to register collision delegate. Let's call this night collision. And down here we'll create a function called night collision with a collision event. And just like in the trigger, we're going to need to filter. So we want to look for the weapon bone. And the collision type of enter. Otherwise, <clears throat> we get a bunch of false hits. And we just want the first one. So we'll play the hit sound. We'll move the sparks, and here, instead of using the <clears throat> closest point to the bone, which we did in the, the trigger, we're actually going to use the contact point, so the collision. Let's use the first one since there's only one. Okay, so now when we have a collision, it's going to call this function only on the bone, or the weapon bone, and only on the, the enter event. And it's going to move the sparks to the collision point, contact point. So let's go back into here. We have everything set up, so let's play it. Now you can see it's actually hitting precisely where the two collide. which is exactly what we want. That's one way to do it. The other way you could do this, if you still wanted to use triggers, <coughs> you could create another bone attached to the weapon. Call it weapon edge. <coughs> you don't need any texture for this. You could create your <clears throat> collider here, 
And on the actual offset, you can move the offset of the weapon edge to wherever you want. And that way, when it does the closest point calculations, it'll calculate to here and not down to here on the weapon. So if you put this here and you, you create your box, you wouldn't need to have an offset. So let's go ahead and take off the weapon collider. Back to the weapon edge. Okay, I didn't have my weapon on. <laughs> Forgot this was an add or a mixed animation. Okay, so now we have this set. Let's move the let's go back to the first keyframe and move the edge down just a bit kind of put it into the center of the sword, if that's where you want it. That way we don't have to have any offset on the, the box. Okay, so now our weapon edge is somewhere in the middle, so wherever we hit with a sword, it'll calculate the closest point to this location and not this location. And you can keep this as a trigger instead of using the collision event. So that's the other way you could do it. Uh, either way is fine. Just keep in mind if you're going to take this off and use collisions, it's going to be a little more overhead on the processing. If you don't have a lot of animations doing this, it's not going to be a big deal, but uh, if you have many skin meshes on the screen all colliding, that could get expensive. So that's how you do uh, more precise collisions.